So now we're going to talk about another really important mathematical tool, which are rates and and proportions. So we'll start with um, we'll start with some some rates here and some proportions. Okay, so suppose that um, your car can drive 300 miles on a tank of 15 gallons. Uh, how far can it go drive on on 40 gallons? Well, there's a couple different ways that we could uh, approach this. The first would be to set up something called a proportion, uh, which says that, uh, in the case of consuming gas in a car at least, that the miles are always in the same proportion or at the same rate or in the same fraction as, as gallons. In other words, if I drive 300 miles on 15 gallons, then that's going to be the same as driving some other number of miles on 40 gallons. In other words, these ratios or rates are going to be the same. And part of that is because if we divide this here, 30, uh, 300 divided by 15 is, let's see, 20. Uh, we could call this 20 miles per gallon, or in other words, the fraction reduces to 20 over 1, but of course 20 over 1 is just 20. So 20 miles per gallon, and this is a rate, a basic rate. Um, and if we drive 20 miles per gallon, then that's going to be true no matter how we rewrite this fraction. So we can rewrite this fraction with a different base. Okay, so now that we have this proportion equation set up, we can go through and solve it. And so one way to solve it would be to multiply both sides by 40. The reason we do that is because then the 40 cancels out or reduces there. Uh, and then we end up with, let's see here, 40 times 300 is, is, ooh, let's see, 12,000 uh, over 15 equals x. Uh, and then we can go ahead and divide. 12,000 divided by 15 is, is 800. And of course, that's going to be miles because x was representing miles. And so that's one way to go about solving this type of equation. Another way is using a technique called dimensional analysis. Uh, and this involves multiplying by things equivalent to 1 or by multiplying by equivalent rates. So for example, we're going to start with our 40 gallons here because that's the information that we know. Now I want to find how far. I want to know miles. So to do that, I'm going to multiply by a fraction, a fraction that is going to cancel out miles, sorry, cancel out gallons and introduce miles. So I need some equivalence between miles and gallons, and lucky for me, I happen to know that. I happen to know that 300 miles uh, can be driven on 15 gallons. So now my gallons unit, notice that my units, I can almost treat like quantities and reduce. So my gallons reduces, I get 400 times, sorry, 40 times 300 is, is 12,000 miles divided by 15 on the bottom. Notice my units have canceled there. That simplifies to 800 miles. And so these are two different ways to approach exactly the same uh, problem. We could either do it using uh, a proportion equation like we see here, or we can do it using sort of dimensional approaches uh, like we see here. Now these, of course, are not the only approaches. Um, there's also some sort of more intuitive approaches. For example, if you had started here and calculated that this is 20 miles per gallon, then you might have just uh, sort of intuited that if I can drive 20 miles per gallon and I'm driving 40 and I have 40 gallons, then I'm going to end up with being able to drive 800 miles. And while that sort of intuitive approach is just fine, when you get into more complicated problems, being able to work with one of these other two techniques is pretty handy.